T A O. Yeah. I'm a res. I was a resident of the T A O program at the Baymont Motel. Um, I was kicked out yesterday for being falsely accused of something I did not do. Um, so they left me out on the streets last night, didn't give me anything to where I could eat. When I asked if I could take a shower yesterday morning, they told me, no, Alex, the director, administrator of a director, told me that's just a luxury that I don't get. Now they've got all my shit in a, in a bag that they rushed me to get it out. And I had, I was told I had her out until yesterday till 10 a.m. to move it all. Yeah, granted, they're helping me with the storage unit for the first month. But they don't even care that a box was stolen out of my room last night after from them kicking in my door the day before. Okay, tell me about your shower story and how they kicked in your door. Can you start I was beginning? in I was in taking a shower. First somebody came up to my room with a baseball bat, started hitting my door with a baseball bat. I called the office explaining to them what was happening. I went in to go take my shower. I shut the bathroom door and I locked it like I always do after being raped and everything. I have a security issue about being safe now, being behind locked doors at all times, especially when my husband is locked up in custody and stuff. I was in taking a shower. I heard somebody knock at the door. I said, I'm in taking a shower. When I come out of the shower, my door had been kicked in. When I asked what the hell happened, and they said they were doing a well checkup. They didn't know if I had hurt myself. And, and who is this? Alex, the main director of Baymont's program, the TAO. Uh, yesterday, I called the corporate office. Then I was supposed to get a call back, never did. Then I get a call back from a doctor, something they call him, I guess, Dr. B. He said he talked to Alex and it was a whole complete story. There was nothing he could do to help me for last night. So I was on the streets all night. Last night? Last night, all by myself. Slept on a bus bench. Hadn't eaten all day. My medications were up in my room and they didn't allow me in my room last night to even get them. And I had was in the hospital Saturday with an abscess that led into a mild stroke. They didn't give a shit one bit about me and they don't now. They just want to go shove me off into a board and care while they're putting everybody else in these motels. Now, are you talking about the management here at... The telecare management program, the homeless housing program. When I signed up for this, I was told that I had six months in a hotel. I've only been a part of the Baymont program since April 13th, I think is what it is. So it's only been not even a full four months. When they put me at the Royal Roman, the bathroom sink fell on me. It was cockroach infested. They didn't care, didn't do nothing to help me. They started my disability paperwork and never followed followed up with it or finished it. So they're putting me on the streets basically the, the, with nothing. This is telecare? Yes. Correct. So I'm basically going to the streets with absolutely nothing. And so you were put out last night? I was put out yesterday morning and I had to walk around the streets all day trying to find money just to get for a storage unit. Couldn't do nothing. Now I finally, they're, yeah, they're helping me, like I said, with the month to monthly storage unit. But they don't give a sh blank about anything that was just taken from me that was valuable. That was my... They case. just broke in. Someone broke in, in and I have a text message from the people that lived in the room next door to me asked pushing me about that box and where they even said oh my bad we found it how did you guys find it if it was in my room that means you guys are inside my room taking it again and now it's gone and it had everything valuable of ours they had my adopted son's paperwork in there that i can never replace and i don't ever see him anymore his last photo picture i had of him i had my wedding ring set in there it had a laptop, it had our opening okay, Ray-Ban glasses that I've had since I was 16 years old and I'm 45 now. It was the last pair of glasses my mom ever bought me that's not with us anymore. It had my husband's deceased mom's stuff in there. It had the kids, my our twins that I lost at six months from when I'm being in the riverbed when I was being tied up, beaten and raped. Do you know where that box is now? No, actually I don't. And they aren't doing nothing. And when I went to the sheriff to try to file a report, they said there's nothing they can do. Do you have a name of an individual or a supervisor at Telecare that you tried to work with? 
Becky is my case manager. She's done nothing for me. She saw this is what you get for what you did to another resident when I did nothing. But because those bus houses matched to somebody else's and I told them, look, I've got people that will verify that those were not, I did not steal them. They were given to me. She said, it doesn't matter. You're lucky they're not pressing charges on you. So, so where now they're waiting in the van for me to go put everything into the storage unit and then take me to some angel boarding care when they just placed all these other people in motels. I've been on the housing list for two years. I've been homeless for four years. And they should not have to go to a boarding care where I'm not going to feel safe. Were you on the riverbed at one point? Yeah, for three years. I was beat up, at, tied up, beat up, and raped out there. That's so I got beat up out there and raped, and that's when I lost my twins about six months along. Do you mind? Can I ask you just your first name? Kimberly. Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. You're welcome. Sorry to hear that. I've been praying for you, Kim. Sorry to hear that. It's tough. Don't want to go to the sport no, and carry in a hotel just like everybody else. Yeah. They don't care that I don't feel safe. They don't care that I'm a cutter. And this is just drawing me back to trying to cut myself again. And I haven't cut myself in three years. So they will store your stuff. Okay. They're, they're paying for me to have a monthly storage, but then they just want to sell it all. Please keep the homeless in prayer out here. A lot of tough situations and tragic stories, really. It's sad. Uh, awful. For women to be on the streets is so dangerous. Please, especially a special prayer for the women on the streets and uh, do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. I really need housing to be a right for all in America. That would, I think, solve a lot of these problems. But as long as it's a commodity that can be bought and sold at the highest bidder, we're just going to keep having more people on the streets. You know, and why is it that if a person commits a crime, they have a right to housing, whether it's a murder or whatever. You got a right to housing. It's in prison, but it's a right to housing and food and shower and clean clothes. Why not people that just can't afford housing? Why can't they have right to housing? This makes sense. So let's pray we can make that happen, get, get people the housing they need. Do join Homeless Advocates for Christ, share the video, and like, subscribe, and hope to hear from you soon. May God bless you. You see first kingdom always. Bye-bye.